sit up on your bolster blanket if you would like to. I see have your blocks nearby. Uh, if cross-legged feels good for you, go ahead and cross your legs, but sit however you can get into a semi-comfortable state. And then we're gonna close our eyes. You can keep them open if you like, but I'm gonna close my eyes. <sighs> Just take some breaths. Like those weird, like, doula yoga teacher breaths where we just sort of like, ah, uh, force it out. But it really feels so good. So take just a few deep breaths and allow your mind and your energy to land somewhat in your body, whatever that means for you. Feel your bum supported and pressing into the ground below you. And then just imagine your whole length of your body just lifting up out of your pelvis. Notice if there is any sort of tension in your body that maybe you didn't know was, was there before we closed our eyes and slowed down that you can let slowly release in your body. A little softness around those points of ache and tension. Being mindful of the space around the eyes, it's really tense. Don't even realize it. And since I'm guessing you're here because you're wanting some prenatal yoga, just taking a moment or two to feel, check in, or whatever word you want to use, um, with the fact that you have a life growing inside of you. And um, yes, it can be wonderful and miraculous. And it also comes with the shadow side of sometimes feeling claustrophobic or like your body isn't yours anymore. All those weird pregnancy feelings. So making space for the whole spectrum of feelings and sensations. Okay, take one more deep breath, fill up as much with air as you can. So really expand. And then once you get as full as you can go, take a slowest exhale out that you can muster. You're blowing out a birthday candle across the room. And then find regular breath. We'll just start rolling the head around the shoulders. So feel free to do this practice with your eyes closed. I love, I love closed eyes sometimes. It can feel nice, but do your thing. A few little head circles here. And all the creaks and the cracks. And then just take a slow three circles the other way. You find yourself wanting to move through this quickly. See if you can slow down just a tick. And as we are in yoga, but I think it's just a brilliant thing for life. Just making sure we keep breathing and connecting with the breath. When your chin comes down, just lift your head up over your shoulders. Bring your fingertips out to the side and circle your arms all the way up overhead. Interlace your fingers at the top. Flip your palms up to the sky. Reach the wrist up to the sky and see if you can pull the biceps back by the ears. And then you can take a little look up. And then just bring your head back through center and circle your wrist as you come down. All right, let's see. Let's take a switch of the front leg so that our legs don't fall asleep. And then we're gonna take one side, stretch up and over to the side of your choice. This is my left, but it might look like the right to you. It doesn't really matter. And then take an inhale and reach up and over to the other side. Enjoying these simple, lovely movements. We'll go one more time each side, up and over to the first side. Good. And see if you can really reach and grow and take up some space. Looks like I'm in a box and when I see the screen, I feel like, oh, I'm just trying to touch the sides of my, of my box of the space where I work. And then come all the way up to center. Good, roll the shoulders. Um, Okay, let's bring our feet together. 
to like a little butterfly pose. Hands are just gonna fall where they fall. And we're gonna do these things called camel rides. So you're gonna inhale, arch your spine, look up. And then exhale, round your spine all the way from your tail to your head, look down. We can move at your own pace here. Just inhale, flowing up, opening the chest. And then exhale, it's like doing cat, which we'll do in a minute. So that's a spinal movement in everyday life, but especially pregnant, preparing for birth, we do a lot of pelvic rocking and movement just to make some extra space in the pelvis for your baby or your babies. And then also a um, mobile pelvis can be very helpful for a vaginal birth. If that's, if that's your path, one more like that down. And then heal up, I love these camel rides. Good, come all the way through center. If you have blocks, you can grab them, just throw them under your knees for a little extra support. And then just take your fingertips in front of your feet. Feel your spine really long. Think that you're sending your tail back behind you and your head is reaching far. And then lock your fingertips all the way forward and just fold into your, your body. Um, you don't have to go very far. Just go to where it feels most comfortable for you. Feel the breath expand into the back part of the body. Maybe even let your head relax and dip down. And then just lifting your head. We're gonna just walk the fingertips a little bit over to one side. So stretching down this whole line of the body. Um, if you've taken any sort of yoga class where they um, cue you to lock down your pelvis, don't do that when you're pregnant. Don't do that while you're not pregnant. <laughs> Let your body move with you. So you can think about lengthening to the other side. Lengthening, but we don't want to lock anything in place. And sometimes even providing some movement can feel nice. Come back into center. And then just slowly walk yourself all the way up. We're gonna reach on the outside of the knees and pull the knees in and just straighten your legs and shake it out. So we do a lot of supporting of the legs and in, in our body because of the relaxing in your body when you're pregnant. So you might be able to go a little bit further. Move that out of the way. <laughs> some some dirt. You might be able to go a little bit further in your body pregnant than you can when you're not pregnant, but we also want to be joints not pushing too far okay moving on hands and knees if you didn't see that I uh, we're gonna start with some cat cows if you have blocks hands on blocks the reason for that as you're flowing through cat cow just arching your spine is that we want to encourage baby as much as possible to send their head down into the pelvis we work with gravity just makes for an easier Easier birth process. A lot of a lot of care providers don't know how to deliver beat first baby, breech baby. It is, it is a little bit simpler to go with the head down.
knees wide, your way back up onto hands and knees. Without the blocks this time, you're gonna bring your knees back under your hips. And then just take your right hand or whatever hand you'd like, slide it under your left and come into a little twist. Other hand goes forward. All right, this is an okay twist for first trimester and for pregnancy. It's just the upper body, the shoulders. See if you can let your body feel the support of the floor below you. And you can find some enjoyment in lifting your, your hips and your butt up into the sky. Just gotta be like reach up and away. And then just draw on your front hand. We're gonna press in through center and we're gonna flip right up to the other side. So just ease onto the other side. Again, finding a way to rest and feel supported and just release into the ground below you. Let the air flow all the way to your baby and your belly. If you're in the first half of your pregnancy, especially the first trimester, your baby's muscles are really low and really deep in your pelvis. Almost done by your pubic bones. Bring your hand in, come all the way up. Go ahead and curl your toes. You're going to sit back on your feet. It might not be comfortable. We're just going to be here. Three breaths, hands up to the sky. Take a deep breath in and slowly blow out the air. Good. And just deep breath in. Know that that discomfort is just a little stretch. That's all. Exhale out. Sorry if I'm breathing a little slower than you, but we're really slowing down here. One more like that. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, blow it out. Stay here till the very end. And then you're just gonna come back onto hands and knees just for a second. Untuck your toes and give your toes a little tap. Grab your blocks if you've got them. I'm gonna show you with blocks, but if you don't have blocks, just make, make this work for your body. And then you're gonna step your foot on the inside. So front foot on the inside, I have a block on either side of my front foot. You're gonna reach forward into this like lungy position. <laughs> Press down into your hands, take a little arch back. Feel that opening all down this front side of your body. You can even look up to the sky, it's nice for the neck. And then on your exhales, Press your hips back, your front leg will straighten just a little bit. You might feel like moving your blocks back, so go for it. And then we're just gonna rock. Rock forward and rock back. I always feel like this is giving myself a little internal massage on my body. Getting some length. And connecting the breath, inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale forward. And exhale back. And then just step that front foot forward. Check the back toes. Come up into a big lunge. Use your legs to lift you up. And then you're just going to straighten your front leg. Whoosh, big stretch. And then you're going to lunge back in. So similar motion. All right, we're getting a little bit of a different stretch. I feel this in the back of my back calf. I feel this in the back of my front leg. Good. Take one more. You're going to come back into this triangle shape. And then I'm going to actually scooch my back foot in a little bit so I can get my heel down. And then a forward stretch. So for me, I'm going to just lean forward. I'm going to put my hands on the floor, but if you can always keep your hands in the blocks and just let your head release. <sighs> Some more of those sighful breaths. We can find some rocks here. Okay, take one more breath. And then find your blocks if you release them. Come back through that really, really strong lunge. Good. Take three slow breaths here. So deep breath in. Blow it out. Deep breath in. And blow it out. One more, stick with it. 
and blow it out. And just lower your back knee. Good job. Bring your front leg back to meet your back leg. Boot, sit back onto your feet, hands up to the sky. Just take a few rolls over your shoulders. No slow breaths here. Let's give your hands a break. All right. And then back onto the other side. So just walk back forward. Step your other leg forward. Uh, take the blocks on the outside of the feet. And then the same as before, just rocking forward and back. So inhale, reach up and forward. And then exhale, reach back. Again, your front leg doesn't have to straighten. It's just gonna depend on how this feels on your body today. Just noting. Noting that your body might feel and move a little differently than it did pre-pregnancy. Which when you say it, you can be like, oh yeah, of course, things are changing. But when you're in it, you can be like, why? I just want to feel and move like I did. That's at least how I felt when I was pregnant. And come all the way forward. And then curl your back toes and come up into a lunge. I can assure you that you will you will feel like that again one day. And now we're gonna straighten up in our leg. Just try to be comfortable with the changes. It can be fun if you find yourself thinking that or any sort of any of these feelings of just um, maybe finding some playfulness here, curiosity. Maybe, maybe that'll work for you. Of like, oh wow, this is this is different and strange. There's all these changes, and what does it feel like? Um, sometimes when we just become curious, one more like that, um, our whole perspective and energy will shift. All right, sliding so that back foot, and then forward fold however you would like. Just hands on the blocks, hands off the blocks. Slow breath, get curious about the sensations. No stories attached, if and how possible. And then just bring your hands back to the blocks. So from this side, we're gonna set the blocks over the hands a little forward. We're gonna just bring the back foot up here with the front foot. All right, I'm spreading out my toes here, making sure your feet and your legs are parallel as much as possible, and then just fold forward. Um, you might need your feet a little bit wider than normal, and if so, take it to where it feels comfortable, and just take some sways. Again, hands on blocks can be nice. Maybe you don't feel like swaying today, maybe it makes you not feel good. And if that's the case, just stay still. Take a deep breath in, find your center. And then on the next side, you're gonna feel like you're pressing your feet through the floor as you bend your knees and just roll. Whoa, all the way up to stand and just circle your hands when you get to the top. Ah, oh, bring your hands into your heart. Good, take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Let's take a moment here and just enjoy, enjoy the pregnancy for a second. So just hands on your belly. Maybe you close your eyes again some little slow sway rocks. It's a nice intimate dance with your growing companion. Whatever you feel in this moment is okay. It's all normal. And you can feel the, or just the physical sensations of your hands on your on your belly, it can feel really nice and comforting. A little rocking. I kind of wish I could, I mean, this is gonna sound weird, but I wish I could shove my son back in and make him a baby and dance with him like this. <laughs> it's weird, right? This is the things we think when we're parents. We just love our babies. And we come back to center. Good. Feel both of your feet press into the floor and slowly bring your hands to your side for like a mountain pose. And take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Inviting a little bit more movement. We'll take an inhale and circle the arms all the way up overhead. 
And then on an exhale, soft knees, gentle fold over your legs. You don't have to dive. Let's make this feel nice. Hands can find the blocks, so they can find the floor. And take your next inhale. We'll move a little slow here. Find a long flat back. And then on an exhale, really soften your knees. Let your body drape over your legs. See if you can release, especially that tension in the top body. Give your head a little shake. And then same as before, press those feet down. Feel like you're trying to press your foot in the floor and move the floor down to the earth as you roll up. Some yogi teachers would say root to rise. Come all the way up. Hands into your heart. Connect your thumbs at your sternum. Take a beat. And then one more, just like that. Take a deep breath in, circle the arms up. And then exhale, fold forward, soft knees. Almost feels like a little bit of qigong or tai chi ish, right? With how slow we move. Inhale to extend the body. And then exhale, fold forward. Let the head drop. And then press down. Root to rise, round all the way up, circle. Arms up overhead and bring the hands into the heart. Connect the thumbs at the sternum. Take a deep breath in and just exhale out. Go ahead and set the feet together first and then step one foot on the other side of your mat. So you're in this wide legged position. Um, maybe I'll just take my blanket and move it out to the side for now. We're gonna find goddess squat. So you're gonna have a little turned out position. If you ever did dance, this is like second position. Um, and then the arms are gonna go up to the sky, to the side. You're gonna connect your thumb and your um, index finger, and you're just gonna bend your legs into a little goddess squat. And then we're gonna do 10 little arm circles with little squats. So we're gonna go 10 and nine and eight. Good. See if you can really think about sending your sitting bones to the floor. So really widening in the base of your pelvis. Four and three and two. Stay down on one. Ten little circles. Ready? Ten. Just find your breath. Feel your feet on the floor. Arms are circling. Maybe sensations in the leg. That's okay. Four more. Head up to the sky. Pretend you like it. One more, last circle, stay here. Open your palms, straighten your legs, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. And then just bring your hands into your heart. Good, one more, just like before, deep breath in. And then side out. All right, we're gonna come into warrior two. So you're just gonna shift um, one foot in and the other foot out. If you've never done warrior two before, it's kind of like, um a lunge. So your front heel lines up with the arch of your back foot. The hips just go where they go and then the arms reach out to the side. Just to note, you want to tr try to get your um, knee shooting forward and not like rolling in. So just be aware of that. And then the back foot, you're going to press down the outside line of that back leg and feel your pinky toe seal down on the floor. And then just reach forward. I don't know if everyone has done yoga before, so just a little information. And here we are, we're just feeling maybe like a little burn in the front leg. And we just sit with it and you press your feet down and you reach your arms really long. And then you're gonna flip your front arm, you're gonna straighten your legs and we're gonna kind of do like a little spiral, like a windmill of the arms, you're gonna reach back. And we're gonna do a few of those. We're just gonna lunge forward. And then if you've got a belly, you can kind of hug your baby here. And forward. And up. Two more. Forward. And up. Good. And last one. Nice and simple. From here, we're going to come forward and we're going to hold it in our legs. We're going to bring our elbow on the knees and just come into this nice little side. Side stretchy move here. It's not the official term. You want to watch that your elbow, you're not like kind of dumping into your elbow. You do have to kind of support your body with your, your muscles. Good. And then just take the top arm behind the back. You're going to reach behind you. You might reach your fingertips towards that front leg. And then you can take the top shoulder and roll it back. And if you want, you can look up to the sky. One option. Or you can just let your ear drop 
to your other shoulder. It can feel really nice. Good. Let the legs do the work. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all good. And then to come out of this, you're gonna bring that back arm onto the hip, your front arm, bring it onto your leg. Come up through a strong warrior two here, and then come up through center. Good, and then hands into the heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, last standing pose here. You're gonna just turn the other way. You're gonna lunge all the way in. Good, glance out over that front arm now that we've got our warrior two established. Really lunge, you're just gonna lunge to where you, you feel the work, but you don't have to go into like one of these crazy yoga Instagram lunges. Instagram influencers. Okay, straighten your front leg. <laughs> Reverse, unless you would like to. This is just about moving the body. Yoga is all about moving energy through the body in order to get into a really good meditative state. So just let you yourself move and breathe. Good, one more like that. Reach all the way up and back and all the way forward. And then remember, we hold this elbow to knee, arm up overhead. <sighs> when you're ready, circle that arm behind the back and then decide do you want to look up? Do you want to come down? It doesn't have to be the same on both sides. Contrary to popular belief. Good, bring your hand on your hip, hand on your knee, come up through the strong warrior two, all the way through center, and then hands into the chest. Deep breath in, and side out. Kind of torn. I kind of want to do one more standing pose, but I did say that would be the last. So um, let's just release the feet. You can kind of like heel toe your feet in, however you'd like. And we're going to come down to the floor. Let's take a few more things before we wrap up. If you have a blanket and would like to sit on it, go ahead and grab it. If you're thirsty, take some water. And then we're going to meet on the ground. You're gonna have one leg behind you and the other leg in front of you like a stag. I like to shift off to the side of my blanket so that this foot leg's not on the blanket. That's why I shift it off. Um, and then once you get there, hand on your hip and you're just gonna take some little rocks here. Just rock your hip. There's an opening in the pelvis. It can be a really nice stretch for this psoas or sometimes down the quad. And you might not feel it, you might feel it. Let your body rotate with your pelvis and let your eyes move to where you're rotating. It can feel weird because we're all used to locking in on our screens. Good. And then come all the way to center. If you want, you can grab your blocks or a bolster. We're going to do a forward fold. If you have um, a larger ba baby in your body, if you're further along in your pregnancy, you might need a bolster. Um, for your upper body, or you might just want to come here. If you have the space and you'd like to come down like this, come down. And I'm gonna count out about five slow breaths here. So just let yourself settle. You won't be here too long. I breathe slow, so my five breaths might be a little bit longer, taking in your five breaths. Three more. Just bring your hands behind your body. You're gonna just open up this front rim of the pelvis and just arch your spine up like you're doing a back bend. Beautiful. I can't see you, but I know. I know you're doing beautiful. And then just bring your leg around and shift into the other side. I'm gonna move my blocks so I don't topple them over. And again, we're gonna start with a few of these little rotations and see if you can just use your eyes. So my eyes, I'm using my finger to show you. We're just tracking over, trying to kind of notice when I'm passing by. Good. Just 
still finding those breaths. It's just not holding our breath. Two more. Good, and one more. And then you're just gonna settle into the center. We'll fold forward. Five breaths, up to you if you want to be here or lower. I'm gonna come down just a little bit for my body and I'm gonna count five slow breaths for us. your exhale, bring yourself back up through center, walking your hands all the way behind you, bring your hands to the floor, just arch up your spine, take a little lift up and back, and come all the way down to center, and come all the way up, and just spiral your leg around. Okay, we're going to do one more thing before we come to the floor, I'm keeping this a loose Nice, easy class. Just take some little spirals of the body. Let's see. These are called Sufi rolls in yoga. Um, they're also a really common um, movement that a lot of a lot of laboring women will find during um, a birthing wave or contraction. It can feel nice. So how it works is usually you start to feel the contractions about to happen, and you're like, oh, here it comes. And then, if this is kind of a movement that works for you, you would just do this movement one direction through the whole entire thing. Just kind of moving your body. It might not look quite as big. It might look a little different. Um, but it's just this circular motion. You can do it in any position. And then when that contraction ends, you would just come into center and you'd just be like, let it go and you'd rest before the next one um, but since we're in a yoga class we're going to circle the other way but that's just a little information when you're laboring you most likely are not going to want to or need to keep track of changing sides it's not about anything other than just letting the body move and moving that energy and opening up the pelvis um, and it can be a really nice like ritual to know like okay every contraction I do this I do a lot of, you know like maybe you do like you know it's like 12 circles and you just count them 12 11 10 you know when you get toe one it'll probably be finished it depends it depends on the length of your contraction then I would say if you do 20 you definitely get all the way through a contraction and then so all right come on all the way up just spiral your body up, bring your hands to your belly. Take a deep breath in and a slow exhale out. All right, so we're gonna make our way to Shavasana. I'm gonna join you for, I don't know, about a minute-ish, I'm not timing it. And um, if you feel like skipping this part, I um, implore you to just give yourself this time, just one more minute, and then you can move on through your busy day. Uh, you can lay on your back, flat on your back if you're happy there. You can lay on your side. I'm gonna show you this classic prenatal Shavasana position. You can kind of modify this to your liking, but if you have like a bolster or you can use a pillow, um, and you can use whatever you want to provide this sort of lift and ankle, but as I have the blocks and bolster, I'll show you with what I have. So you set up one tall block and one short block, and then you nestle bolster or pillow on them. So you've got a little lift, and then I like to send a little blanket in front. And then you would just bring your butt back. It's gonna fall over. <laughs> These blocks are full of this. All right, let me just lean back. And then you can go straight leg. You can bring your knees. Better if you have some support underneath your knees. You can use a blanket, but I'll straighten my legs and I'll, I'll lay here with you and I'll guess in my body what about a minute is. Just let yourself, just let your body release. 
If you feel a little stress being in this resting position, if you feel like a to-do list or some sort of story popping in to your brain that makes you feel antsy, just um, try focusing on your breath. And what that could be is when you breathe in, you just think inhale. When you breathe out, you think exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And just keep going on your own for the rest of the your time here. If you want to stay, just stay and ignore me closing out class and enjoy this as long as you can. But if you need to get back into your, into your life, just take a few more slow breaths and just maybe start finding some movement in your ankles, your wrists. I just like to take a big stretch oh, up overhead, like one of those nice morning stretches. And then if you can, if you can find a way to come through your side before you come up, you might just kind of shift into like this side position on your bolster. This is actually pretty nice too. Just let your body settle into this position. And as you're ready, you'll make yourself up into a sitting position. Sometimes even when I would teach my classes in person, people would be sitting way before me. I like to luxuriate here in this moment. All right, let's bring a hand onto the heart and a hand onto baby. I really enjoy taking this moment here and feel your hand right over, right over your heart and your lungs. And then just feel your bottom hand connecting into that life inside of you. And then just feeling the distance in between the two. Once your baby grows and starts to take up more space inside of you, that baby grows closer and closer to your heart. Physically and metaphorically speaking, maybe in all the ways. And then bring your hands into a prayer position. Just take a moment to honor yourself and who you are as a woman and as a mother and all the strength that has brought you to this, this place right here. All the ways that you've survived and gotten here and day to day or even those big moments. Make you a fierce, a fierce mama, even in those times, if you have those times where you might not feel it, you've got this. Take another deep breath in. Slowest breath out you've had all class. Thank you so much for coming. I really hope you like class. Um, please leave me any comments or notes below. I'd love to hear what you have to say or if you have any questions about um, any part of about what you're going through um, or anything I said. So I really love teaching these classes and I plan on creating some more for this space. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you next time.